YouTubers, YouTubers, one man smoke here. Trimble tobacco today. It's been a crazy summer so far with uh, work and uh, family stuff going on. Haven't had much time uh, to make it out here and uh, make a video. Uh, but we made it out here today. And uh, it's hot and humid. Probably uh, in the 80s, 80% 80 humidity at least. And uh, they just got through cutting uh, some burley and uh, hanging some burley today. And as you can see, they're uh, stacking up the trailer over here. So that's what we do out here in Trimble Tobacco. Uh, me and my son, the cameraman, he's getting ready. Uh, we're going to be uh, over there doing some bass fishing right now. So uh, we'll catch you later. Peace and sweet smoke. was in Oldham County and the guy that lived here and his son dismantled the barn, loaded it on trailer, brought it out here and then used those materials to build this barn probably 10 or 15 years ago. So this barn was relocated? Yep, but it was redesigned when he relocated it. Unique feature, you're going to see a cross member under every tier. Uh -huh. He did that for extra strength. But the guys like it because it's got lots of room for you to stand up and do the hanging. It's got three tiers across in both sheds and four in the driveway. That's a pretty common configuration for small burly barns in this area. We call it 12 foot sheds and 14 foot drive. And I've asked the guys to put 20 to a rail. And I was just counting a minute ago and I came up with 17, 19, and 22. So it's gonna average close to 20 to a rail. That's what I need. We run a six-man crew in the barn, four up and two down. None of our barns have any more than four tiers in the center. This barn has three tiers in the shed. The man, man on the wagon hands it to the man in the bottom tier, and he's going to hang that middle rail and the one at his feet, and the man at the top is going to hang the top rail and sometimes help that guy with the middle rail. They kind of share the workload. Put it on YouTube. That's right. You're on it. Hell yeah. yeah! I'm already on YouTube about what, six times, Brian? Right? I like it. He might make employee of the month. Uh-oh. <laughs> hey, hey. You hey, ain't getting no special treat. I thought I was the best person. You don't get no special treat. I'm entertainment. There ain't no good in it this night. I'm entertainment. Andrew. A little bit. Uh, this barn's very sturdy. Um, sturdy. Spread your feet apart. She's a good one. Now bend over. Touch the ground. Did you fall down? No, no different up there. No. Just the part that your foot's standing on is not as wide. But this barn has three before tiers, yeah. which are square, it's which huge. makes a nice flat place for you to put your feet. Some of our older barns have round poles. Is that a, hey, is that a lawnmower man round over there? Yeah. 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 Got his glasses on. Put that, he'll let foot in there right in front of you. you well, that's his brother. Foot, Good eye. Well Genetics, man. He's my cousin, too. Genetics or just inbreeding, like I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, my mom and, and his dad are brother and sister. And his dad used to raise tobacco, so he grew up in it just like I did. Hey, these boys said they're going to quit at 8, and we're going to start at 7 in the morning. I got one more load down here that'll have to come off tonight. Uh, oh. That tire is plumb off the rim now. So, uh, I'm about to throw hanging off. But it ain't going to be that one. We're going to save that one. No, we're not long. getting off to the end. Shut up, dude. follow her uh -huh. to the other end of the operation where they're loading these things. Since we've got such a great distance between here and the field, that's the difference maker. 
So we've got a crew out there loading in the field. They don't have to ride over here every time. And we've got another crew here unloading. So that truck hauling them back and forth is pretty much eliminating the distance. And as you can see, they're putting it on us. We got two wagons in waiting and still working on this one. We've got four wagons in circulation right now. We used three the other day, but the distance was short. Uh, we topped and sprayed that field. It was topped Saturday, I sprayed it Monday morning. The field at my house is gone. It's in my barn, and the overflow went in the cable hoist barn. We finished that up just before you got here. And the guys have already cut ahead. They've cut the piece of grandma's, the piece in the corner, and they're working on the piece by the cable hoist barn. But uh, we're going to put in a full day tomorrow and probably catch up with them. And I hope we do because there's rain coming in Thursday. I had some rain on some of my other tobacco, but it didn't hurt it. But if you get very much rain on it, it gets muddy, and that causes quality problems. Are you uh, still got a little topping to do? We topped that field Saturday, but Dad hasn't started yet. He's got a couple of fields that are just about ready. Good job, buddy.